Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crash Designs. I'm coming by today because I was asked to show one of these keychains. Which made me realize I don't think I've ever done a video showing them. So, I'm, I've done hundreds. This is just what I've got left. So, I'm only going to show you about 20 at a time. Okay? Maybe I can keep up with that. <laughs> Alright, so the one I was asked about is this little green apple one. That these are just the ones that I just finished. Alright. This little green apple. It's got glass, frosty glass beads. Two different colors. It's got this chunky glitter. Which is a um, chameleon glitter. Which has a red um, flash. A red orange flash it's really pretty all right on the inside there are little apples little apple chips this is a small acrylic uh, faceted bead there is a metal charm in each of the keychains and there's also a cubic zirconia in there there's seed beads and little bugle beads, plus different kinds of glitter, uh, chunky glitter. All right, so this one I believe has an apple. No, this one has a flower and a red cubic zirconia and a piece of apple pie on top. Okay. This one is a pearl um, resin for the uh, for the apple. This is a frosted um, little resin heart. It's a, um, you know, it's got fake sugar on it. Sugared heart. Thank you. Red and green frosted glass beads. This one has the apple inside. And the um, green, uh, peridot green cubit zirconia. And it has a red faceted bead. Now, I don't do the oil filled ones because I want to hear it shake. I want to hear it shake. <laughs> That's the point of a shaker. Okay, two apples. I'll show you the TV next. Again, with the frosted glass beads. This one has music notes and a brown cubic zirconia. Which is covered up by the circle glitter. Chunky glitter. It's got some seed beads. Some chunky... Looks like hexagon holographic there's a cute little giraffe and a cute little zebra that matched oh and it's got um, this really pretty amber colored um, glitter in with the resin mix maybe too much description but you wanted to see again with the frosted glass beads now this one doesn't have a um, mm -hmm, a metal charm just because the interior was so small I couldn't find one to fit in this one. I do have another one. It does have a charm, but it was the last tiny one. Um, a beautiful little coronet though. So cute. All right, this one has a red cubic zirconia, a little bit of red glitter. Uh, the glitter is under the top layer, so there's nothing to come off. Alright. And last but not least for this round. The little sunset foot. <laughs> Again with the frosted glass beads. This one 
has a foot charm. <laughs> I don't know how I manage that, but... And... I'm not sure what the co Oh, it's right there. A tiny yellow, um... Citrine colored CZ. And a pineapple. This lovely... Um, yellow gold um, resin in the mix and I did do a backing of <laughs> a sunset also so super cute these are all domed on the back and on the front so all right Okay, now these are the last of the um, summer themed kind of ones. And these all do have, well, except this one, um, a little bit of extra. This one is a series of um, these maze games. And this one in particular has this little. Um, it's a resin charm. It's got seashells around with a little dolphin. And I did a wave... Um, mm -hmm, a wave pattern design in the resin in the back. And it's got a seashell, which is actually a purse backpack kind of clasp. And the game actually does have a ball and rolls and will drive you mad if you try to f figure it out. And it's got little um, bubbles <laughs> coming out of the fish. And this really cute um, blue to, well, blue green to seafoam green. Um, in the resin in the background. Way too much description. But that fish is so cute. <laughs> Alright. Then we'll go to the crabs. I think these are so adorable. It's got um, one of these textured glass pearls with another little glass um multicolored oval bead this one has actually a plastic um starfish but the seahorse is the metal charm and then it's got a little blue um it's not really like a tanzanite it's more of a i don't know what color it is and then it's got a little clear star that I put on the front. Really cute. It's got so much going on inside. It's so cute. And then it's got a chunky um, turquoise glitter in the resin. And I did it where I poured the chunky resin glitter in first. And then I poured a uh, mm -hmm. an aqua color, whatever you want to call it, um, resin in after that cured. Really cute. Oh, I could just go on describing these forever, I think. Um, this one has another uh, plastic starfish, a little anchor charm, and this one has a yellow, like citrine colored. I had this broken starfish <laughs> so I just put it on top UV resined it on top and I put it where the broken hand whatever you want to call it arm is not covering the front and this one has a red chunky glitter and I did um, no, this one I did pour it solid. 
<laughs> it's got a red, a red starfish at the back. And I'm sorry, this one actually has a red, this is a glass bead. And a, another purse clip. This one, I'm going to start with the beads this time, has a crackle glass um, and a multicolored glass bead. Cute, cute little dinosaurs. This one is so cute. Okay, he's got, this one doesn't have a um, metal charm because the dinosaur was so large all right it does have a cubic zirconia uh let's see what color it is it is a green a peridot green this one has a um, beautiful multicolored purple and blue that i just used um mm-hmm I just used in the film reels and it's got a tiny little heart rhinestone <gasps> chunky this is a black um, chunky glitter right. so sorry this is taking forever popsicle this one has tiny little grape clusters on the front and again this one I do not believe no this one doesn't have a metal charm either because it is such a tiny space it does have a purple an amethyst colored cubic zirconia and a, a rainbow colored resin heart on the purse clip um, and it's got different um, this is a purple chunky glitter and this one is a pink it's got an ice colored glitter all right last but not least well of, of these <laughs> I did this one thinking of a masculine that's why it's really simple it's just got a uh, glass pearl and a glass um, multicolored bead. Love this. Love this. This is another one of these um, maze charms. And this one started out to be a complete fail. It worked perfectly when I poured the glitter and the resin. I poured the top with white. It was working perfectly. Then when I went to dome the front and the back, I had a leak. And I could have cried. So it actually leaked up here. That's why I... This is a baking soda and resin mixed together for the foam at the top. Really cute. And again, this one actually does work as a game. Okay, that's these. Those. That's the first ten. I'm sorry. I'll try to. Okay, so these are some of the Halloween themed ones. Let's start off with. I got the pumpkin. It's got three little glass beads. These are a. Um, mm -hmm. They've got a web um, pattern to them. A little moon purse charm. It's got a chunky um, mm -hmm. orange that I actually did this one and then I gave it a solid orange glitter background to um, make the details stand out a little bit. And the details I did in um, silver holographic. It's got those little acrylic faceted 
It's got a skull charm. And then it's got an, a citron colored. Again. With the cubic zirconia. Seed beads and <laughs> little um, gold chunks that are like little chunks of glass. Uh, gold glass glitter. Lordy. Again, this one, I was kind of going for the masculine. Um, it's got this giant um, smoky quartz color. Oh, I just love that. It actually does have a little bitty silver skull charm in the top. Now this one I'm not actually sure whether I put a CZ or not, but it actually might have that um, diamond color, the, the clear all right, this one has a, um, this one is also a chameleon glitter. It's a gold, um, ice colored. The little cute little bat. All right. Okay, this one again has the cute little bat. The smoky, um, faceted rondelle. That is so pretty. This one has a star purse charm. The silver um, holographic glitter. And this one has tiny little plastic pumpkins. That, well, resin pumpkins that I, I poured. Huh? And this one, again, does not have a, um, mm -hmm, a silver charm. But it does have a cubic zirconia, and no, I couldn't even tell you which one it is. Or what color it is. Alright. I think these are adorable. Again, with the smoky, um, quartz colored glass rondelle with the, um, bi-colored green glass stone. This bat is a, um, it's got the black holographic glitter to it, and the, um, bottle itself has the green, the lime green. I just love that. Give it that acid green potion color. Okay, this one has a, um, skull and crossbones with tiny little bones. And bubbles and then it's got a po a potion a poison bottle oh my goodness and it does have a cubic zirconia and I'm sure it's a green one if I could find it uh -huh. which I can't but it's in there somewhere all right last but not least of this set I love these little cauldrons uh, frosted glass. This one is with the set of the most recent ones I did. Um, black and orange. This little cute candy. I thought was really cute. These are a pumpkin sequin um, embellishment. It's got a little pumpkin charm. And this one does have an orange CC. Let's spit that out. And then the back, I did the orange glitter, and I did some of the little ghost sequins. The uh, back of this one is, it just is a lot of um, real estate. It's black, and it will really stare back at you. So, that's why I did a little magic to it. Alright, that is these five. Five more. Okay, last five. This one is a tiny um, little blood moon. It's got a skull and crossbones on the front. Beautiful red um, glass rondelle with this clear glass um, bicone at the top. 
when I said tiny, I meant tiny because this one has a tiny key ring. It'd be perfect if you just had like one house key or one car key. That'd be great. It's got a tiny little, this is actually out of the, um, I think it's a space collection. This is actually a shooting star. It's got a tiny red, um, a blood red garnet colored CZ. Um, some seed beads, some glitters. That is that one. Um, we'll just go in order, I guess. This one is another one of the cauldrons. I actually um, did quite a few of these. It's got a black cat um, little purse charm, purse clasp, a little ghost charm. The little bat. And this one has. These are actual pieces of uh, Peridot Nugget. It's got actually three of the little metal charms. And I don't believe this one has a CZ. Um, because it has the nuggets of Peridot. Okay, this one also has, this one has a moon um, purse class, a, a different little ghost, an actual different little bat. <laughs> now this one obviously has a giant black CZ, which is gorgeous, as another one of those little exploding stars. And then this one also has the Peridot Nuggets. Oh, this one has an open star as well. Uh, a holographic, this time, um, chunky lime green glitter. And I did the top solid. And I did, in the back layer, I did a, uh, a piece of the Angelina film. And I, I cut it where it would look like... If the bat wasn't there it looked like um, that was the fill line like it wasn't completely full of poison all right again I would say enough blabbering but I'm gonna blabber some more minute okay this is the last um, CZ uh, last CZ the last shaker strong Halloween shaker charm keychain <gasps> This one again has the bat, the bats, oh my lord, I've talked too much. The ghosts. <sighs> and a ghost on the front. This one has a skull. And an orange, tiny little CZ. This one actually has a skull and crossbones floating around amongst the bones and seed beads and bubbles. This one I did a black, it's got a black holographic um, glitter. And I did pearl on this ghost. And he really turned out cute. Okay. And I actually poured a tiny bit of um, the acid green holographic um, glitter in the drip right there. Um, this one is a, um, this is a white, uh, snow white quartz. I got a tiny bit of white in the bone, but it it ran and bled together. I'm usually a little better at that. That much better, anyway. This one had the acid green, um, like solid, like I did on the top of the bottle there. Okay, and this one... Again, was almost a fail. This one is just a backpack uh, purse charm. Um, it's got uh, electroplated um, glass rondelle and a glass bicone. It's a little kitty face. This one's got three of the um, mm -hmm, metal charms. 
<laughs> and it's got a purple, it's actually a large purple um, CZ with a little kitty cat. But this one was almost a fail because these antlers never hardened. They're not sticky. They're just not hard. So you won't have to worry about knocking them off. It's got a little star glitter. So cute. A chunky gla a chunky holographic glitter. And then a this one is actually like Fourth of July glitter. But it's got a gold um uh -huh, instead of silver undertone. Super cute. This one's super cute. Alright, they all of them are. Can't you tell? I just had so much fun doing these. I don't know if it was just because it's so different. You know, if you just do polymer clay for years. I've been doing polymer clay for 15 years. Alright, so to do a little change to resin keychains was very much fun and so interesting. There's so many combinations and most of these things I already had from um, working with polymer clay just because I do jewelry like the seed beads, all the glitters. I just, I had most everything. So, just a few little molds, and I was there. So, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> thank you for asking me to show these. The apple was the one that I was asked about most recently. The very first one I showed. So, again, thank you all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. I have an Amazon shop, I have an Etsy shop, all of my social media links will be listed below. I think I've said everything. <laughs> Bye for now.